Hello everyone, Kane over here. As you always know, you can like my videos if you enjoy them, and of course, subscribe if you like to get more videos for Sublative Rogue and Rogue in general. Now, let's begin with the video. As you always know, I do some updates every time there is like a new thing that happens in the PTR, and we just got a trinket nerf that I actually quite like that we got that nerf. So, let me show you. We have here the cataclysmic signet brand has been nerfed by 16.5 percent what does this mean at least for subletty rogue and most likely also for assassination rogue for outlaw maybe it's still way better than other things but that means that it goes down to rank two or three or four of our trinkets i really didn't like the trinket itself because if you always saw or tried to play with it, it takes forever to stack up if you're unlucky. If you are really lucky, it's like infinite stars. If you haven't seen how they worked, they had like a chance to proc and the more they proc, the more damage they did up to a 10 stacks and then it did the maximum damage. So Signet it's the same. If you don't know what Signet does, it's over here. This one, so it begins ramp you up and um, at 15 stacks, it does, it does crazy amounts of damage. What does this mean? If you stack this on 2 minutes, then you will have full power for a long time, but it can take up to 6 minutes, if I'm lucky, to stack it. So on some fights, it will do like 1 or 2% of damage, and on other fights, it will do more than 20% of your total damage. That means if we are doing around 200 and something K damage, there will be 40k plus damage from one trinket. Of course, some other classes of specs will still run it. They are trapped in Signet Jail. But for us, we have other alternatives. Right now, the best seeming trinket after that one is Pips, Emerald Friendship Batch. But of course, I do think that Branch and Bandolier and if the fire trinket gets a little buff, they could also be really strong contenders. Of course, trinket seems are just all around over different places, so they can and will change. But of course, at least for dust, the non-dust build only wants one on use, and then you just use pips or the snake or something like that. Maybe even the accelerating sunglass because haste is not that bad of a trinket for single target at least. But at least on use trinkets, ashes, bark, and mirror are going to be kind of good. Then you have bandolier; it just does damage. Signet, it's going to be weaker, so we don't. I don't really like it. You can still play it; it can high rate very very high. And on long fights, if they are, for example, a 12-minute fight, Firak could be one of those, or 14 or something like that. It's always going to be the best trinket, even after the damage nerf. Kind of sad, but it is what it is. So that was all that I wanted to say on the video. Kind of a fast one. I will do today later. Uh, it's 20, the 27th now. For the Mythic Plus thingies, all the different builds and the rotation themselves i did like two explanations one explanation for the general things one the other explanation for how are we going to use our abilities more or less and now come the bread and butter rotations and things that of course can still change but i still will do them for people that still want to test things these days that we have left on the ptr we have like two weeks almost to try things yet so See you all.